the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years. Hey guys, it's me, James, with this beautiful, crazy life. It's been a while. I'm pretty inconsistent lately. As you guys know, still going through some medical stuff for long COVID. Even right now, I'm pretty tired and exhausted. But I wanted to make a video, and I'll have another video. I'll actually have two videos out today um, because there's just some things that caught my eyes swimming around the internet. The first one I thought was pretty interesting, and that is from our boy Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar. Is that the name he was born with or like did he change it because that's such a if i had a if i went to a church i was visiting and the pastor said my name is crefo dollar i would be very uh very suspicious but he has recently came out and said he ha is repenting for the teaching wrong teaching of tithing he is now against tithing and he has changed his whole theology kind of ish if you want a really good breakdown on what exactly he said go to uh the channel smart christian and go to ruslan's channel because did it a good job kind of approaching it from different parts sort of expounding upon what was actually said by Creflo dollar because after hearing that i'm kind of on the fence here okay i'm not really on the fence i'm pretty sure he's just trying to get people to give him more money a different way but that's not really what i'm talking about Creflo dollar is really just something that i find so interesting because he is someone who has admitted um that he is teaching people wrongly and that now that he's discovered new information um he's not really repenting per se because he said this i won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route i would have never ended up where i am right now so it doesn't seem like he's sorry but i guess for him he wants to make sure people learn the right way even though his teaching is is actually wonky but this is something that i find really interesting here there's always these arguments about channels like mine and other channels if we're doing heretic hunting or not and that's a really good question i have sort of changed this channel a little bit expounding upon other things I want to focus on good things the church is doing but i also don't want to ignore actual bad teaching a lot of times some of the stuff that people are actually complaining about and heretic hunting is things that are just legitimate differences between people who are actually believers saved by god saved by grace powered by the spirit who have different views on theology or politics or sociology or just the way the world is that's something we should debate right that's cool so that type of channels i do have a problem with because it's not just like hey let's just debate theology and see the difference that's when people are just casting out someone saying the language they use or what they said is just so bad they're not even christian i find that pretty bad um but channels discussing actually bad theology that is outside of christian orthodoxy that is so bad it's actually harmful for people that type of work still needs to be done Creflo dollar has probably scammed people out of millions of dollars he clearly is able to convince people for private jet he has used the technique of guilt and all these things to um you know and control guilt and control to in order to basically get more money and then call it god's blessing when in fact to me it's just tricking people i mean literally your name is creflo dollar the prosperity gospel to me is not the gospel it is one of the worst things to come out of the american church since uh well there's a long list i i don't even know where to start but i think it's necessary that we as christians call this teaching out there's a difference between divisiveness and the actual truth and sometimes that can be hard to do but it's so important that people read their bibles because anyone who's read the new testament would have a really hard time coming with the agree uh coming to the conclusion that tithing is required for christians tithing was a tax that israel had and it was probably more than 10 percent it was extremely complex and it wasn't in cash for one because cash didn't exist 
Um, and so when we don't understand this idea, you get really wacky stuff like a guy convincing people to buy him a jet and he changed his name to Creflo Dollar. Unless that's his name, which I can't imagine that's his actual name. So, so guys, I just... When we think about is someone being divisive, is someone being wrong, I just have to ask you, bad theology is actually harmful. It's one thing for Creflo Dollar to get up there and say, I'm sorry, but think of all the people whose faith probably was thrown out or who have wasted money or, you know, spent money, gave money they never actually had. Throw away every book, every tape, and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. Um, God wants us to use wisdom. He gives us the sermon. He gives us the ability to think. It is one of his greatest gifts to us, is the ability to think, to be able to read, to be able to articulate what we're feeling and what we're saying and what we're thinking and then decipher that and then explain it and make arguments for it. Guys, we have to dismantle every bad argument um and so to all those people out there is just like oh you know we shouldn't argue about theology we should be more in unity creflo dollar is not in unity when he's destroying people's lives and neither is anyone else when their theology is that harmful um or even if their theology is correct if their ortho practice if the way they practice if their orthodoxy and their ortho practice as people always say i'm probably saying the word wrong but if your practice doesn't make sense either and it's actually harmful how can we be in unity that's all I'm saying. So you guys let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I have more stuff coming out. I'm going to have another video right after this. So make sure to check it out, guys. Or check out another video pops up here. I'm sure you'll you'll like it as I get back in the swing of things. And, guys, can, I appreciate the, the prayers as I go on this journey of recovery from, from all my health stuff, man. It's been a journey, but I'll see you guys later.